Hello, the following tutorial will demonstrate how to design satellite templates for VizWeather. Begin by creating a parent container for the hierarchy. If you don't have map server available, you can find some map samples under VizCurious Maps folder. This, the tiny globe icon indicates that those images has a geographical layer attached. For this following example, pick any United States map and add a GeoImage plugin on it. Scaling manipulations shouldn't be done in the container level, but only in the GeoImage plugin. Set the base map to be off and the map size to be something like 500. From the Control Weather plugins, add CWS map to the container. This plugin with, will allow to change map from this weather. Two control plugins were added to the top of the hierarchy, Control Object and Control WSYN. The parameters shouldn't be changed. Back to the CWS map plugin, set the field identifier to be other than one and set a description field. From the weather plugin, add W image refresh plugin. This plugin will update all child plugins when the map will be changed. Create a child container. Back to the control weather plugins, add CWS satellite to the container. Automatically, geo image and image clip will be added. Set the field identifier and description of the C uh, CWS satellite. In image clip, point to the demo data. You can find some under W, satellite, pick the US storm icon and point to the all vim images VLN. Make sure that under basic tab, the memory type is set to array under weather, weather is set to on and make sure that under advanced, GRF is set to be on. The satellite image sequence in this example are under the same path of the all images VLN. Copy the path of the folder to the base path field and hit reinitialize. Now set keyframes for the satellite sequence. Make sure the position is set to zero and set the first keyframe. Change the position value and set the second keyframe. The position can be at any value, it doesn't have to be an accurate one. Switch to the stage and name the last keyframe end key. This is a saved name that should be used for animated weather data. Change both keyframes splines to be linear. Back to the tree editor from weather shaders, add WSAT look to the container. Experiment with the different functions and both will give the sequence a more 3D feel. You can clean the sequence with by changing the threshold values. and add some shadow to it. The satellite template is ready. Let's save it and switch to weather to test it.
close the template, go on air and switch to this weather. Click Ctrl R to refresh the render window and right click on the graphic templates to refresh the view. Load the satellite template. Click on the maps editor to pick a different map from the database or create a new one from the server. Click on the satellite editor. Click on the from directory and browse to the W folder where the demo data is. Point to the same US storm Ike. An error alert indicates that the date range hasn't been set yet. Click on the on the calendar icon, Magic Dates. This weather will automatically set the full range available in the selected folder. The alpha, minimum and maximum values are, are available for editing, so you can adjust them according to any loaded sequence. Click on the animation editor. Here you can set the, se the speed that the sequence will play. Changing the value will influence the position of the end key. A small value will play the animation faster. A larger value will play it slower. Back to the map editor, pick a different map of the US. East Coast, for example. As the data is georeft, it will stick to the map. This is it for designing satellite templates for this weather. See you in the next Designing for this weather clips.